What little Democratic deal swapping did I walk into? Joe's setting up the VR headset, but he's having a bit of trouble booting it up. Old guy doesn't do well with computers. Shocker. We were both born in the 40s, Don. Stop holding the age above my head. I think this has got to be record time that you guys started fighting. There's probably better timing. I have a pickle jar with a can of salsa that can end up straight down your gullet if you keep at it. Unless you want to help, keep it quiet. Is it plugged in? Yes. Well, that's all the help I'm able to give. Old guy doesn't do well with computers. Shocker. It's not even the computer aspect for me. There's just a lot of cords. That's why I asked if it's plugged in. It's the first thing he would have done, Donald. Joe isn't an idiot. Actually, I haven't checked the power cord. Of course, I regret supporting you. Haven't heard that one before. There we go. All right, time to put this doohickey on, Donald. Why do I have to put that on? I'm not getting sucked into the dopamine dump of this generation. What if we have a security job to work? Give me the headset. Everything good, Donald? I feel like the world is caving in around me right now. All right, everything is good then. So this is help wanted. The game where we have to put a headset on each other and resist pushing the person into a wall. What does that mean? I'm hearing footsteps right now. We're in the menu. Don't make me pull out my trump card. Gentlemen, welcome to Help Wanted, the seventh installment in the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. And it requires the headset for us to play it? Yeah, I feel like Roman Atwood with all these cords near my camera. I feel like I'm gonna fall. Yes, it's important to play this game with the headset, otherwise it wouldn't fully immerse us. If you get tangled up in that thing, don't blame us. It's still your coordination skills. So if you can't see on the screen, we have some old friends that are gonna be paying us a visit. This certainly won't upset the world's best security guard. Not one bit. Why are they back? Just why? It doesn't matter. New game. Let's get this show started. Wait, we can see Donald's hands? Oh, not this music. Oh, uh, where am I? Are you on a roller coaster? Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear What is going experience. on? Just pay attention. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age. And what better way to do that than with an edge of your seat virtual reality experience? What do you mean, virtual reality? I risked my life to work as a security guard. And the doors to death open for us. Quite a lot to absorb here. We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades. You think? Whoa. And now I see this freak on my screen. Looks like we'll be getting a showreel. Based on actual events. The majority uh, of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. What? Ending. Scott Cawthon? That's him? In the flesh. Ha, ha, ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely There's FNAF 2. Do we have to play through all of these? Looks like it. The last several years into a hilarious VR game in the hopes that we can We have the title screen and everything. Ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you as Not well interested. As kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays. So sit back. I respect the product push scares. though. And here we go. I can't believe this is responding to my hand. What's this? That you agree to a what the? This you isn't play. concerning at all. It's mostly just legal mumbo jumbo and isn't at Your all fabulous lifetime, not while playing this game. Or injuries associated with testing. Uh, just touch the button to agree, and then we can jump right into some harmless fun that can't harm you at all in any harmful way. Are you actually you reading this? I don't know what I'm getting into. Of course experience. I'm reading this. I think you're taking the waiver a bit too literally. If you agree to the terms, you may press the button, or if you would like to reduce the risk. You acknowledge that oh. Fazbear Entertainment is not Excuse me, I didn't agree to anything. Looks like we're too deep into it now to back out. Are you serious? I, I, I didn't hit the button, Scott. What are you doing right now? Is the task too tall for the world's best security guard to handle? Not at all. In fact, I'm excited. Look at how my hands are full of jazz and swag as I'm ready to fight against these phony frauds. I think there's a little fear behind that voice. By completing these scenarios, more will become available. You'll see plenty of familiar faces and some new ones as well. So stay a while. And Wait, have a I'm good jumping. Time. I'm jumping. Remember, I got movement in this game already locked down. These asinine animatronics aren't ready for me. I think you're just twerking, Donald. And, and I'll continue to throw it back like a heart attack. I would love to hear what the man is saying, you two. From the virtual menu. Great. Now he's gone. Doesn't matter, FNAF 1, Night 1. The world's best security guard is back on the block, ready to show my cop. Just like how we remember it, huh? Yep, it's like the nostalgia never left our lungs. Why is the camera glitching around? Can you stop moving? Of course not. Seeing you move around so fluently hurts my eyes a bit. Like what is happening right now? Can I pick this up? I think, yep, you can. Can you shut it? What ear should this be near? You could just always throw the phone off in the corner or something. I see, phone guy. I'll pretend you don't die later on. 
I'm glad Donald is able to get immersed so easily. I knew giving him the first game would be an easy layup. Uh, are, are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the man with a brain chip in his head. Yes, I, I understand, radio man. Say, is your wife cell phone lady? Do you guys use an aux cord when you get down to business? You know what, Joe? Sometimes I forget to give you the credit you deserve. They have lockers and everything in this tiny office. Wait, what's this purple thing? I think that's a bonus cassette tape or something. Can't remember what it's for, though. I'm assuming something with bonus features. I'm looking at our camera system, and it looks like it's being run on a Nokia cell phone. How am I supposed to see anything on this TV? As the world's best security guard, certainly you'll be able to handle a minor setback like that, right? Not a doubt in my mind. But I think it's just fraudulent the way this restaurant ill-equips its staff. What is phone guy even talking about? I don't think we ever heard him talk because Donald skipped the call as soon as he had a chance. Basically just an introductory call on what we have to do. I didn't think Donald skipped over the first call, though. All he does is yap. Yes, yes, I understand. Now, can you leave me be to do my job? Is there any way to skip it? What the? Why am I glitching around? The motion controls may still be a bit wonky. After all, we have so many cords hooked up to that thing that the sensors may act up. I feel like I'm going to swing around one of these hands and it's going to cause Y2K or something. Uh, Donald, did you just hear that footstep in the corner of your ear? I heard that all too well, Obama. And I have the old timer trying to talk my ear off like I don't know all of this. Again, you could throw the phone off in the corner of the wall, but that seems like it's too easy of a solution for the world's best security guard. This game works the same as the first one we played, right? No magic tricks up the sleeve, right? I'd assume so. It's literally the same game. All right, I'm putting you down. I need to lock in and you aren't helping, phone guy. It's been a decent amount of time since we played this. I actually forgot how much he liked to talk. Isn't that red shiny button used to mute him or something? There's got to be a better option than Look listening at this to him prattle on. I have so much power. You just aren't stressed about the first night at all, are you? That's right, phone guy. Dying in a suit is bad. Too bad that happens to one of us, but I won't spoil it. I'd just look at the cameras, Donald. But don't get too full of yourself now. Foxy? Why is Foxy out on night one? I thought he came out on later nights. It's rare for the first night. But You're really night. closing the door, Donald. Already found them. It's only night one. Why are you freaking out so much when you've already played this? You're right. It's a different feeling when you have the headset on. Even as the world's best security guard, I have to adapt to new circumstances. And that should be a piece of cake for the world's best security guard, right? Yeah, you're right. Uh, I can be more carefree now. Oh, look, Joe, I can just spam these things. Everything that you're figuring out, I already know about Donald. Well, this should be a cakewalk then. I'm glad you agree. I hear footsteps. Hey! He's right there! Whoa, whoa, he came in hot. Are you still there? He's still there. It's a very different thing with the headset on, Donald. Trust and believe me when I say that. I trust you. Why are you still here? Those footsteps were to the other hallway. You can see you're walking. They have animation in this thing. That changes the game. I have to lock in now. Well, the good thing is that you have 53% power left. So it's not like you were gallivanting off at the start of the video, wasting your battery. I'm noticing that the difference in this game is that you can't really shut off the monitors. I'm sort of amazed how Donald hasn't destroyed his battery life from that alone. Funny enough, you can't shut the monitors off in this game, but it doesn't use power anyways. Okay, Chica is gone and Bonnie the Bunny is gone. It should be pretty cut and dry that I just have to stare them down like they're at a stripper plaza, but it's just so surreal. Excuse me now? You're excused. Doesn't matter. It's already 5 a.m. and I have 40% power left. Even if they threw the whole USSR at these doors, nothing can stop me from victory now. Besides your own ego, did you not see how fast Chica was shimmying down that hallway? I think he knows what he needs to do now. It probably just took him out a bit, seeing that for the first time. I practically lost my vocal cords the first time I saw that. Foxy, why are you trying to leave your curtain? It's night one. How about you lay off for a bit before I close this door like the iron curtain? Well, maybe in this game he's activated on night one. It doesn't matter. I have enough power to close both of these doors, but I'm just fending you junk metal off because I can. Or can you? It sounds like they're trying to cook up some heat right now. I see you. You're not slick, Chica, thinking you can sneak up in the dark. Remember, you still have Bonnie to look after. And he looks like he's on the move. Oh, no, you don't. Ah! Donald, only you can be successful and still fall like a failure. It truly is something special. And they go crazy. All right, I'm getting up. 
we're good. The big man is still alive and kicking it. What could have been? It's Donald Trump here wanting to thank all of our members for supporting us. We can't thank you enough. If you would like to become a member and see exclusive content, click the link in the description.